Hey everybody and welcome to our home. Clearly it is seasonal home tour as we are getting ready for Christmas when I filmed this portion of the video. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys an overview of our main living space right now and I'm going to break the rest of the house up into different sections but everything I can link um, that's able to link that I know where it's from I will link it in the description section down below if you're wondering. Um, so make sure you check out that section um, before you ask in the comments and of course if there is something that I forgot by all means please ask um, if you're looking for some inspo. We went with like a modern farmhouse feel. We wanted a little command center here. This is just our rack with like fruits and veggies. Uh, don't mind the dog towel on the floor. We wet their paws when they come in from outside. And the kitchen we went with was an Ikea kitchen. Um, and this is in the white cabinets. They mostly have the off-white, but they came out with white white, which I thought was beautiful. And the black hardware just pops. And so we still have some things to finish, like open shelving, you'll notice is missing in that corner right there. So I'm excited to get that finished. Uh, we decided to go with a quartz uh, countertop, something that I was really, really wanting. Very low maintenance, but high quality. I absolutely love, love, love it. I was afraid it might be a little too out there, but I think it really complements everything else in the house. Um, of course I had to have a fresh balsam candle going this time of year. I absolutely love that scent from Bath and Body Works. And of course having some baked goods on display just puts that added little touch to your home. I didn't make those though, <laughs> um, but my mom did and I was really appreciative that we had a lot of nice baked goods given to us over the holidays so I didn't have to bake. We are missing some outlets as you can see because we're still getting the work kind of finished up. Um, so a little premature on the house tour, but I'm sure you guys get the picture. We're missing a pot filler arm as well. Um, so a few final little details, but I mean, the majority of the home is done and we've been enjoying it very, very much. I have like a little nook over in the corner. Again, some of the decor, it's kind of like we just moved in. I'm just kind of putting some things wherever, but... I don't know if you guys are like that, but sometimes it takes a while of moving things around, testing things out, you know, looking at it and being like, oh, I don't think I like it there, or next year maybe I'll move that. Um, but I do like the idea of having like a little hot cocoa bar um, and stuff like that there. So it'll be different when the shelving comes in for sure. That's going to make a big difference. And I also have um, a little bit of decor that needs to go up there as well. These blinds were a great buy from blinds.ca and I'll have that down in the description as well. We put them all throughout the main and we also have the cordless bamboo blind like those you just saw um, upstairs as well. So you'll see that in the other part. This farmhouse sink is so amazing. It looks smaller but it's pretty spacious um, so we've been loving that. And I just have this little cleaning caddy suctioned onto the inside of the sink. A little bubble up brush, some hand soap, you know, the typical things that you use in your kitchen. We recently changed our coffee pot. We used to have the Hamilton Beach one. We swapped for this one. And then when you come in from the beginning and turn to the right instead, you're kind of getting this little mini wall here. So I just have a little wallflower plugged in there with some fresh balsam, of course. <laughs> and then these IKEA shelves, I wanted to have some pictures of family in all different shapes, um, different sizes rather, not shapes, but just of some family. And I just poked a little bit of seasonal decor and stuff up there too to make it look a little bit more festive. Um, but yeah, this is just a little sneak peek of some of our family and I'm sure this, um, picture gallery thing will change you know as our family changes we're expecting another baby um so yeah very thankful for this wall and this is just an overview now of the main space so as you can see the layout of the kitchen we have a huge 9 by 12 rug here in front of the fireplace um this is the ikea sofa Ooh, gosh i forget the name now I will link the name of this down below, but it's like a brushed velvet kind of upholstery on it, which I think is really, really good, really easy to clean, 
and God loves Charlie lying on the couch there. Um, but all the pillowcases come off of the back of that couch so you can wash them and the rest of it you can like hand wash if you need to. It's just a really durable, comfortable, huge, but space saving couch. I think it's great. And then those little chairs, side chairs, uh, we got from Wayfair. Put some wreaths up over the blinds. Yeah, and the chairs are kind of like a brushed velvet too, so they're really nice to clean and I find they keep the fur off. These are actual like little wreaths that you're supposed to put under candles, I think, like on a table. But instead I put some command hooks up and I just put the little mini wreaths on all the doors and all the doors upstairs. I thought it was a really cute touch, just subtle but festive. And this is our staircase, so we are waiting for our balusters to be put up here on the railing. As you can see, we're missing those, um, but we did really enjoy putting the wainscoting going up the stairs. It's just a really nice touch. Ship up on the top of the fireplace, just a little glance at our mantle. The mantle is from Wayfair as well and our little stocking stuffers and these are new ones that I got from uh, Winners and then the other two character like caricature ones like the snowman and the Santa were kind of hand-me-down ones that we've had for years but I love the distressed wood look of this mantle and then we went with a penny tile with a black grout and then we have a, a propane fireplace so super cozy it's definitely the focal point of the room and i absolutely love it our christmas tree which is half decorated because we have a toddler um, and that's just a different overview of the island with our ikea stools absolutely love these blinds oh my gosh i can't get enough of them they keep the light out but also it doesn't feel like super dark in the room so it's great and with these wreaths all I did was kind of tie it up underneath because the way the blinds are made it makes it super easy to hide them and then for the other ones I used a little command hook underneath that blind flap as well like I said we did go with an Ikea table as well this one expands out to make it even longer if you need to seat more people which I love but it's small enough that it doesn't consume the space, especially with like high chairs and stuff like that and kids running around. I just love that we decided to go with a super affordable table that if the kids mark up, I really don't care. Um, and then we have this table runner, which is from Winners. I think the center plate, the centerpiece might be from Michael's from like, oh my God, 10 years ago or something. And then over here, I just decided to put up a Christmas tree um, picture that we got from Walmart. And then this was a brown nine cube unit that I didn't want to have a big dark brown unit up here in this white space. So I just painted it out with about a thousand coats of paint um, and it's still scratched because you know how this furniture is. It just, it's hard to prep it um, to stick the paint to. So I decided to put contact paper over top of it. So guys, that's it for part one of our house tour of our main living space. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos coming of our playroom and our upstairs too.